I notice there are many men, if they do not want to do God's will, they don't want to do their part, they, stop, they start giving excuses after excuses. Number one excuse is this, I don't have time. Have you heard of such excuse, I don't have time? Why are you not attending a small group? I don't have time. Why don't you come and worship on Sunday? I don't have time. Have you heard of that excuses? Kung ayaw gawin, maraming, they learn. The people are doing the same. We have a problem. We will not do it anymore. I was explaining to a group of leaders this week. I explained to them the myth of lack of time. It's a lousy excuse. And I will not allow you from now on to have that excuses. What do I mean? Exhibit A. I know of a president of a multinational company. For the longest time, we wanted to invite him to be part of a small group to study the Bible and be accountable. You know his excuse, which is, you know, valid. I'm busy. I have meetings. I run a big organization. One day, during his regular physical checkup, the doctor said, I see something in your lungs. I think you have cancer. The moment he heard the word cancer, suddenly he has time. Time for what? Going see the doctor, physical checkup, Bible study, prayer time. Why? Let me tell you why. Facing death has an amazing power to alter your priorities. The myth of no time is a lie. If a father will not give enough time to his children, it's simply because for the father, the children are not that important. If you don't have time to worship God on a regular basis, that means you are not giving it priority. If you don't have time for Bible study, for prayer, it tells me one thing. It is not important. So do not ever deceive yourself to say you don't have time. You will make time for what is important. And you will not have time for what is not important. 